Hello and welcome back to Django tutorial. Today I will discuss most interesting and important topic under Django that is signal. Let us take quick agenda for the discussion first. First we will discuss what is signal. Then we will discuss type of signal and how they will receive. And next method of Django signal. After that we will discuss function to send receive or listen signals. And finally we will discuss how the signal can be used in our project. Before going to start, if you are first time visit the channel, then do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get updated on the Django tutorial. So let us start the discussion. What is signal? In general, signal is information on certain action. Let us take one example of traffic signal. Based on the indication, we take action. Similarly, in Django signal, it is a method of processing task before or after the event is happened. Signal in Django also decouple various part of event processes means process like sending email after registration of user should be separated from the application so that it will not block the running thread. Django signal to construct a dispatcher. It means that the inbuilt dispatcher which consists of connect and disconnect method of Django signal. That method will discuss during the implementation. Moving ahead, type of signal. There are different type of signals are there. Init signal, save signal and delete signal. Every signal will take an action before and after. So there are two part. Pre-init, post-init, pre-save, post-save. Similarly, pre-delete and the post-delete. One by one, we'll discuss this type of signal along with the example. Now first type of signal is init signal. It consists of two type, pre-init and post-init. Init signal are applicable for underscore underscore init underscore underscore method they are pre-init and post-init. So talking about the pre-init, it is useful in many applications like keeping track of time at which the client HTTP request is received on server. So first of all, we need to import the package Django core signal import pre-init. Then we call the decorator, which consists of two parameter pre-init and sender. This is the model name coder, which consists of certain parameter. And then write the function it should be written date time now. So this will keep a track of time at which the client HTTP request is received on server. So at that time, we can use this pre-init signal. Going ahead, going ahead, post-init signal. The signal is used when particular model class need to be aware of object is created. Or we can say newly object is created. So in that case, we need to first import the signal and from that post-init method will need to be called. Similarly, what we did in the pre-init, the same thing, we need to write the decorator, which having two parameter, post-init and the model name. And then we call a method, which will aware of whether the new object will create created or not. So for that purpose, we can use this post-init method. And next is save signal. That are two types, pre-save and post-save. In the pre-save, when signal need to be sent before a model instance is saved to the database, also, we can say this method is called after instance is created and before it's saved to the database. We'll understand through this coding. So, first of all, we have to import the signal model and we have to call the method pre-save. Then here I created one model class which consists of attribute, class coder, coder flag and created at. These two attributes are there in my model. Then we'll update that coder information. So, we need to modify a certain type of data inside that model. So before it will save to the database, it should be notified through the signal. So under the update coder method, we have the parameter sender instance and keyword argument. So we just use the instance to coder flag is equal to true. So we'll assign this value to this field and then we are going to save and that will return the instance value. So this save method will be called after the instance is created and before it's saved to the database. In such a case, we can use this pre-save signal. Next is post-save signal. In the post-save signal, this signal is activated each time a model instance is saved. So whenever the particular instance is saved to the database, this signal is automatically saved the instance. So again, we'll see the syntax on Django model signal import. The method is post-save. Again, there is a model in name is coder having two parameter is new coder created and created at. So these two fields we are in used for this model. Then we call the decorator having two parameter post save and sender is coder. Update coder method will check a created. If this instance is created, then it are going to be saved to the database. And then we return that instance value. 
This signal is activated each time when the model instance is saved. Similarly, next signal is delete. Delete signal is again pre-delete and post-delete. So before and after each instance is removed, this signal has been saved. So pre-delete before the instance is removed, this signal is get. The syntax is again we have to import the signal and call the method pre-delete. Here is the model coder having one attribute coder address which consists of character field having length is 250 and having one function get coder notification. We call again the decorator having two parameters pre-delete and sender is coder. We need to print before the instance is removed. So we are going to print the date and time before that instance is get deleted. Similarly for the post delete, in the post delete the signal when saved after each instance is removed. So instead of pre-delete now there is a post delete. Now you can understand that the signal is based on the type of request is sent by the client and server. So we'll see all these type of signal through the coding implementation along with one application in my next video. So hope you understand each and every type of signal. Still if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video.